all right everybody we are back in with another video and as you can see i have another unboxing and first impressions for everyone so this is going to be my unboxing and first impressions of the bolt tune bh <clears throat> the bt bh 023 which is the third generation uh, in the bolt tune truly wireless earbud series and it's actually the fourth set of earbuds in our four microphones earbuds series all right so this is the fourth earbud in the series of the earbud with four microphones right okay but it's actually the third generation of the Baltoon earbuds, all right? So, I'm gonna unbox it real quickly for you guys, and then we're gonna get into my first impressions, and then we're gonna wrap the video up, and we are gonna try and do this as quick as possible, all right? So, anything that I forget to mention, I will have thrown up on the screen in post. So let's do this. And also, as you can see, this was purchased from the Amazon warehouse. So this was purchased in used good condition, all right? So not all of the accessories are gonna be in the box, but I'm gonna take you through the unboxing experience nevertheless. That being said, let me go ahead real quickly before we dive in. Let me show you how much I was able to pick these up for. So I got the screenshot here, and let me show you. So I got these from Amazon right here. For that price right there so 49.62 all right right there and you can see this was picked up from Amazon right there okay now just wanted to get all that preliminary stuff out of the way let's dive in now talking about the overall packaging and presentation in typical Boltoon fashion they did a great job this is their typical red and white color scheme here and you can see we just got some company branding up at the top. Then we got a nice uh, title for the earbuds. So this is their active noise cancellation, truly wireless earbuds here. Then we got a nice picture of the product. Flipping it to the side, we got their website right there. Flipping it to the other side, we got their website again. Flipping it to the back, we got a barcode serial number for in inventory purposes. Got some more detailed breakdown right there. Okay, and then we got a barcode scanner for more information. All right, and that's pretty much it. It's clean. Up top, we got a nice barcode scanner here for inventory purposes again, and it just tells you what the product is right there. All right, and that's pretty much it. Now cracking the box here, we can see, we can just slide everything out here. Okay, and we're greeted with all our information. Okay, so nothing else in the box. Throw this box off to the side. And we have our quick start guide right there. We're not gonna go over that. Then we got our in-depth user manual in multiple languages. Now, as I said, I'll have the important stuff thrown up in post for y'all to check out, but you can see this is indeed in multiple languages right there. Okay, throw that off to the side. And then we have a thank you card from Baltoon. And if you, you can see, if you flip it over, we got that barcode and it just says thank you for your purchase. But in typical Baltoon fashion, this also doubles as your warranty card, okay? So you can also get extended warranty and there's all of your customer service contact information right there. So really good stuff. All right. I really am a fan of Baltimore's presentation. And then, if you're picking these up for the very first time, you do have a gift card. You know, this is the typical gift card they like to give. But in order to get it, in order to get it, you do have to give your review up on Amazon. All right. So. We already seen that before. I think I've shown I've shown a similar unboxing to this when I did other Baltoon products. And then inside of the packaging here, we got our earbud tips. Now we would also get 
our USB type C charging cable, but that did not come here. But I'm okay with that. I got a bunch of different cables. And nine times out of 10, I don't use the, the cables that come with a product. And then we got the earbuds here inside of their little charging case. All right. And then there's nothing else in the packaging. So let's take the packaging out of here. Okay. And now let's take a closer look at the buds. All right. So you can see nice little company branding across the top of the case. We got our um, status LEDs here. So we got three. Not a fan of that, but it is what it is. Then flipping it to the bottom of the case, we do have some more relevant information here. So the case has a 380 milliamp hour battery, 350 milliamp hour battery, and we got our regular information there. I have a picture of this thrown up in post if it's not too clear. All right. Then we got our USB Type C charging port right there. Okay. And then let's pop this open. So here is the buds. Now, a cool thing about this is once you open it, they automatically power on, okay? Then once you take them out, they'll automatically pair to each other, and then they'll go into pairing mode for you. Now, sad thing here, they are set up in the master and slave configuration. So the left earbud is the master, and the right earbud is the slave. So what does that mean? You can use them together in stereo mode, okay? But if you wanna use them independently, you can only use the left earbud independent from the right. You can't use the right earbud independently. So kinda sad to see that, but it is what it is, okay? I will tell you in all honesty, they're getting knocked off points for that. So they're already starting down on the curve, in my opinion, before the review process even starts because that's a must-have feature, especially for truly wireless earbuds. It kind of defeats the purpose to be called truly wireless earbuds if you're not truly wireless and you can't use each earbud independently of the other. That kind of defeats the purpose. It's kind of like telling a little white lie to people. You're not truly wireless if you can't use both earbuds independently of the other. My bad, my bad, I'm starting to get ranty on here. We're not trying to do that. Let me, let me chill out. Let me chill out. So, popping the earbuds out of the case. Okay. Do both of them here. Boom. All right. And you can see the case did come with some charge, and I did already charge up the earbuds. All right. Okay. So, taking them out. I don't know if you could tell, but they did flash. Okay. They both flashed once. And now the left earbud is flashing red and green, indicating that it's in pairing mode. All right, so good stuff there. And then we got our nice tips here. Let me get y'all a close up of that. So this is looking pretty good. Now we do have touch controls here on the little stem piece right here. So there's no physical buttons here. And we do have active noise cancellation on these buds but that can only be used in stereo mode, so that can only be used when you're using both earbuds together. And we do have a full set of earbud touch controls, all right? So really, really good stuff there. Again, I'll have all that information thrown up in post, and we will go over all that information in full detail in the full review, like we always do. You already know, <laughs> like we always do with this time. Okay, let me not start singing, let me not start singing. All right, <clears throat> so, Real quick look at the buds here, let me show you again. So here is the left bud, okay? You got a nice label right down there. Let me let me know if I don't know, get y'all a close up. So there's a nice label here, charging pins, earbud tip, and then here's the back. Bam, just like that, okay? Let me drop this in, give y'all my first impressions of the fit here. Let's go. So the left is in, it's feeling pretty good, all right? Now let's drop the right in, pretty much the same thing. So charging pin, label, earbud, earbud tip, and then outside, that's where your touch controls are and your branding right there, okay? Good stuff, good stuff indeed. All right, let me drop this in, all right? So first impressions of the fit real quick, 
Uh, it feels pretty good. Now it's feeling a little bit more open than I would like. I would like a little bit more snug fit. So I probably will have to mess around with the earbud tips and find the best fit. And I always recommend that you do that, all right? But first impressions, let me do a quick shake test. Okay, so yeah, they're moving around a little bit, but they didn't come out. Let me do it again. Okay, yeah, so they're definitely moving around. I definitely gotta change up the uh, earbud tips here. But it's not a bad fit. It feels very lightweight, very comfortable. Let me snap a real quick uh, selfie for y'all so y'all can see what it's looking like. Pixel 2 XL on deck all day. I really do feel like anytime I need to take a photo, the Pixel 2 XL will not let me down. So that's kind of like my go-to uh, photography camera. Let's go ahead and snap this photo real quick. All right, we're gonna give you the regular two profile. So here's a front profile. Boom, you really can't even tell I have them on. And then here's a side profile. Boom, okay, let that process real quick. Yeah, nice and discreet. So here we go. Here's the front profile, looking good. Okay, and then here's the side profile. Look at that, that looks really good. You can, it, It's like it contours to my face and you really can't tell I have them on. So not bad, not bad at all. So first impressions of the overall fit and feel is pretty good guys. I gotta, I gotta say it's pretty good. Now, as I said, I do wish I had a little bit more snugger fit for the earbuds themselves, but I do feel like that can be rectified um, just by um, changing out the tips. And in all honesty, the tips from the first generation are my favorite. So I'll probably just switch out the tips from here to here, and then we'll be good to go. But real quickly before we get up out of here, I will have the um, the uh, instructions from the user manual thrown up in post, so you'll know all the Bluetooth button controls and all that, and we will go over it again in the full review. But real quickly before we get up out of here, I just want to go over um, the different styles of buds and the different styles of cakes. So this would go right here. This is the third generation. So it would go like this. So generation one, the BT BH020, okay? Generation two, BT BH021. Generation three, the BT BH023. And then generation four, the BT BH024. Just like that. And then here is the cases and lids comparison. So this by far is my favorite set of earbuds. Nice solid lid, nice solid case. Not a fan of these status LEDs, but it is what it is. Everything feels really solid on these. I can't complain. Can't complain at all. And then these buds are actually my favorite. Okay, I've done a full video on this, so we're not gonna go in depth on these, but look at these. These have the best fit and the best feel, and it's nice and solid. These are my favorite go-to buds to date. All right? Whoops, bumpy cam, sorry y'all. So this is the First gens, again, right there, that's the first gen. Then we have the second gen, again, they kind of shrunk it, so it's kind of shrunken, a little bit too small in my opinion, and then they went for the kind of Galaxy Bud style here, but this one, still very good. Now we do have our one status LED. Again, I'm not a fan of status LEDs, but it is what it is. I've done a full review on this one as well. And the really nice thing is that all of these have USB type C. So you can truly use one cable to rule them all on these. So not bad, not bad at all. So here's the right earbud, okay? And then there's what that looks like on the outside. And these do have touch controls. So that's the second gens right there. Pop this other one out, same thing, all right? And to me, the second gens are what I would call the most overall balanced. They deliver um, really good in all areas, but they're not particularly outshining in any one particular area, 
but it's overall extremely solid. Whereas the first gens do everything almost perfectly, okay? Almost perfectly. So that's the first and the second gens compared real quickly to the third gens. Now, here, we already went over the third gens here, so let's take a look at the fourth gens, okay? Nice, solid fabric case, looking real good. I, like, I really like the look of the fourth gens, but the functionality really suffered. So here we go. And it has the similar setup to the third gen. So as soon as you open the case, they power on. As soon as you take them out, they connect up to each other. But they did build, build in a feature to where you can use both these earbuds separately. Okay, so that's what the fourth gens are looking like. Nice stem. Okay. And then here's what the inside looks like. Again, I've done a full review on these as well. Just showing you real quickly. So you can see, I held up the third gens in a similar fashion. And here's what the other earbuds look like. Looks like. Okay. Boom. Just like that. Okay. And then here is the case. Nice solid case again. Really nice overall look. Again, status LED. Not a fan of that. But all of these cases have USB Type C. So it is what it is. All right. So real quick comparison between all the generations of the buds. Now we officially have all the generations in the house. Let me line them up for you. So first gen right here, second gen right here, third gens slot in. Now they do have their little magnets in them so they can sometimes stick to each other. So third gens right here and then finishing it up with the fourth gens right here. All right, so these are all the generations of Baltoon Truly Wireless earbuds, okay? From first to fourth. That's all they put down, all right? Now, <clears throat> I will have an overall comparison between these, uh, comparing everything between them and giving y'all an overall winner even though I kind of already did that in this video, but if you want a more detailed breakdown, I can do that. Y'all let me know if that's something you would be interested in. And again, I did do full in-depth videos on all, almost all of these earbuds, everything except for the third generation, which we're gonna dive into starting directly after this video, all right? But real quick comparison, because I know some of you guys like to see that. And yeah, let's go ahead and wrap the video up. So. That pretty much does it for this one. As always, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed the video and I hope you find it helpful. If you did enjoy the video and or you found it helpful in any shape, form or fashion, please help your boy out by giving the video a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. As always, if you would like to see more content like this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you click off that notification bell icon right next to it so you guys and gals get notified when I publish new video. And if this video piqued your interest, any and everything that I featured in the video will be available linked up down below in the video description. So as always, if your interest is piqued, down below in the video description will be like a one-stop shop for you guys and gals and you should be good to go, all right? This whole video here today was recorded using the rear-facing 16 megapixel primary camera on the Moto G Power in 1080p 30fps with no external microphone hooked up. So please let me know what you think of the overall video quality as well as what you think of the overall audio quality down below in the comments. All feedback as always is greatly appreciated. Just keep it respectful please. My full review for these should be out in about two weeks from the posting of this video. So y'all be on the lookout for that. And you be on the, you guys be on the lookout for my fit and sound demo as well. So y'all stay tuned for that. Everything as always will culminate in my full review where I'll go over everything you need to know and give y'all my overall opinions of these buds. All right, that's about it. I hope everyone is staying safe out there. I hope everyone has a great day. And I will catch you guys and gals in my next video. We are out of here. Peace.